that you don't have to, you know, look at someone's Instagram life and feel like you're not as successful when truly you are. They can all follow me though if they want. You can all follow me if you want. Special here, and it is her house, ladies and gentlemen. Allow me to introduce the hold one and all. Hold up, hold up. Oh, my grief. He stole my grief. I don't care if it's your birthday or not, because this is my house, and I'm taking over. Now, what you want you guys to do is walk with. Yeah! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I know it's my birthday and all, I should be real nice. But what do you think you're doing? You don't take a grief from the jabroni beaten, pie eating, trailer blazing, high dry raisin, popcorn popping and elbow dropping. Came all the way from the dirty south. So mill your roll, shut your mouth. Yeah! 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 No, 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 no. Yes! What can you do? I came out here and flipped. You gonna cheer for that? What can you do? <laughs> do it! Who wrote directed the film? I mean, he brought so much to it 
that, I mean, you don't even need to know anything about wrestling to, to find them. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. So, starting with all this you, um, I, but you, you don't need to know anything about wrestling to, to relate to the themes of this movie. Stephen Merchant, who wrote, directed, just did such a phenomenal job. Yeah. 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 Um, he, he was just, he's a crazy comedic genius too. I mean, the, the past with my, with my parents, though, this is a story that he would usually tell, is people usually think it's, uh, it's exaggerated all over, but no, that's exactly how my parents talk. Oh, it's funny. <laughs> and he said, he literally flew to England and just had to follow him around with a notepad <laughs> and just write down everything they said, anything that came out of their mouths, the script kind of wrote itself with them. <laughs> and then about this is just possible. He's, he's a talent, very talented guy, and having seen the documentary prior to, it's always difficult in the narrative to include everything. And I think one thing he did very well was create the um, intentions and the, the emotions and what was going on. I was saying Paige uh, backstage prior to coming out was the oddity to me and watching was here's a family that's so close, and you could see just how emotional it was for her to make the decision to go. And the whole thing was done for the family, and yet, the irony is, you move away from your family and have a life in a completely different place. I want to ask you, I'm going to go back to you. Did you experience that? Did you feel that? Are you closer to your family because of the journey, or was that hard? Yeah, so we were like already obviously super close, which you can see from the movie I'm close to. But yeah, we're like even closer now because I barely get to see my family. I mean, Zach's over here obviously right now because I, I made him stay longer too. He was supposed to go home on Tuesday, and I was like, you have to go to LA with me. Uh, yeah!
tell you. Uh, but Hutch is, is sort of a, it's a different character because he's not just based on one particular person. So how did that sort of like free you from like, I gotta play this guy just as it was, and you can sort of like create your own character out of this? Well, well, I kind of took a combination of a bunch of guys. There was different people at the page to speak to who the real mentors were. And then for the, the purpose of the movie and consolidating them, I, I looked a lot to there was a, there's a reality <coughs> show as well where they're showing people who are attempting to make the WWE, and there's kind of a process that they put them through. And, you know, there is sort of in these types of movies that character who's almost a mentor kind of character that is kind of being hard on the individual, testing them and at the same time encouraging them. So it was really a compliment to Stephen, uh, I think, and, and figuring out how to weave that in. Yep. And I collaborated with him a little bit on the script and all those things. And our real intention and the purpose of it was really to serve the story, what would, what would elevate and, and showcase what, what the true real page was going through in, in a consolidated time uh, you know, for the purpose of the, of the film. So like, how, how, do, how are you seeing this, you know, because the movie you know, is opening over this weekend, and uh, you know, it premiered at Sundance to, to re reaction there. Like, how are you like sort of seeing like the reaction that people are having that it's this is not just a wrestling movie that, that this is a this is a heartwarming story that the family you know we can relate to the family by any measure. Like 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 this is a film that really transcends so much. I mean, how proud are you that the movie is succeeding in that way? Um, it's, it's very surreal, surreal, you know, like, we were actually standing over there just to watch the last, you know, 10 minutes of the movie, and the reactions have, have been uh, pretty consistent every time I do that, and it's so wonderful you, you, for you guys to hear, you know, laughing and then being like, aww, and then, like, you know, clapping because, you know, the, because of the success of Zach and myself and, and different sort of, and it's just, it's just really wonderful, and I, I already thought, you know, uh, obviously you're going to be biased, like, no, this movie's going to be great. But then you don't expect it to be so good. Like, we got like 92% of Rock Tomatoes. Like, you can feel that. Like, come on. Like, you know, you know, it's like, you know, it's like, Rock Tomatoes. Tomatoes. I want to open up to the audience. Here's your chance to ask three questions here. So, yeah, here's one right there, right? Wait, in fact, you're in the front row. So, here. Um, hey, Major, I've been a huge fan of yours since you first popped up onto the scene. And you've helped me realize my dream to go What would you say for uh, someone like me who's been trying, who's, uh, trying to get into the uh, WWE? Um, I, I, I said this at the last screen, too. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. But it's like the same advice that Dwayne gave me in staying humble and hungry and humble because you want to be able to work with people and mostly people are going to be able to work with you. And then stay hungry because you want to set goals and, and never get complacent, you know. And then I always tell people to be patient because it doesn't come overnight and you really do have to work really hard for it. And if you're a wrestler coming from a girl that didn't do it very well, tuck your chin. First step, right behind And it was me, and it was Emma, and we were against Bella Twins. 
and we 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 got cut. Our, our time got cut to like two minutes uh, live on TV, and we were like so frustrated that we were like, okay, we're gonna do thirty seconds. So we went out there, we did thirty seconds. We came back. Obviously, everyone was livid with us, uh, but we got give divas a chance to turn in for three days straight, and so like the divas revolution kind of kick started from that.
Like, I have to cry my eyes out, eyelashes flying everywhere, snot bubbles going on. He's like, at me, tissues, he's like, oh, like, you know, it was very emotional. And then he was like, and no one's allowed to know about this. And I was like, good. And I'm walking outside, this is WrestleMania, and I'm walking outside of stage, and the team is out there, and she's just like, are you Jesus? And I just go, I'm just a really big fan of Dwayne. And I don't know, I just, all I could I couldn't say anything. So then I had to continue until I see what I made my debut the next day. I pretended to know about it. Fifty was the one. Also, like for you, didn't play last. Oh man! <laughs> <laughs> you didn't mean it like the premiere or anything? No, I'm still not man. I'm still green. I'm yes, going to the room. So yeah, I'm a man. <laughs> you didn't yell at the backstage. That's common. Get him on the phone. Uh, okay, the boss is a question. Yes, you and a hat. Actually, he, he did it. 
So uh, it took a while. It didn't take as long as what we like. It is portrayed maybe like a couple of weeks. I mean, this is over the close to like two and a half years of being in SW, you know. But after a couple of weeks, that kind of snapped out of it a little. And was just like, oh, I'm sorry. And then when he watched the movie too, it made him think back to like those feelings as well, right? So he called me out to watch the movie, and he was just like, I'm so sorry. He just cried his eyes out. I'm so sorry. I was mean to you. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, I, I think uh, honesty is the best policy and there was a part of me that was very jealous. You know, my sister, a person who I had uh, travelled up and down the road with and got her in a ring at every available moment. Um, you know, we would be in that ring, practice some moves. Um, she was like my dummy, I was throwing her around, I'm like, this move is so cool, I don't my sister. This is going to get a pop, man, I'm definitely going to be over on this show. Um, but yeah, there was, there was jealousy. I'm not even gonna lie, there was jealousy. Uh, but most of all, I wanted to be there with her. I wanted to be her big brother. You know, we all know that, you know, my sister's had some dark times. And if you guys have seen Jay, Solid Bob, I wanted to do that. I wanted to travel around on an airplane and beat the crap out of everyone that's talking crap about my sister. You know, and it was a hard time for her. I don't want to be there because that's something that's always happened. We've always been together. Even though there's 5,000 miles between us, I feel like we're closer now than ever. One more thing. Hutch, can I get that job now, please? <laughs> I was going to say, you know, hearing you say all of this, I think you really are a part of her. And every, your whole family is a part of her. And I think all those times in the rain and the closeness that you share, the love that you have for her. I don't know the page would have gone on to be who she was without that uh, without that support. And all of this why you're all here. So thank you so much to you and to you, Paige, for for uh, sharing your story and for including me in. So I say thank you. And Scott, you're tremendous. So I'll always thank you. So ladies and gentlemen, here's how you can help. I mean, yes, to have that 92% on rotten. Rotten what? Rotten lines. Rotten lines. That's all cool. But you know what's better? To spread a word about a film love is social media. Oh, yeah. Right? Yep. So make sure you go on Facebook, go on Instagram, go on Twitter. You in the back, you're still using MySpace. <laughs> totally fine. But spread the word about fighting with my family. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you all so much. Thank you all so much. Very much. I think my sister is here. Are you here? Are you here, Val? Come on down. Yeah. Thank you, guys.